From the noisiest creature in the world to the weirdest eyes in the animal kingdom, here are some of the wildest physical attributes found in nature. The sound of music. The noisiest animal around is the sperm whale, which is also one of the world's largest animals, so that should not come as too much of a surprise. What does come as a surprise is the creature that is the loudest animal in the world relative to its dimensions. Although its body is just two millimeters in length, the water boatman is capable of producing sounds that can reach up to 99.2 decibels. To give everyone out there an idea of just how loud that is, it would be like sitting in the front row of a particularly loud orchestral performance. So when it comes to loudness in relation to the size of the creature, the water boatman is by far the loudest creature on earth. Males create this racket by performing a song in pursuit of a mate. They create sounds by rubbing two body parts together, one of which is unmentionable and is only the width of a human hair. They are underwater when singing the songs, but still the music is so loud that humans walking along a riverbank can hear the minuscule insect sound from the bottom of a river. Identity. You probably would not be surprised to hear that along with humans, our close relatives, chimps and gorillas, have fingerprints. There's only one other creature known in the world that can boast such an attribute. So, can you guess which animal those fingerprints belong to? Now, if you said koalas, good job, you're right, and we are duly impressed. Experts seem to agree that like primates, koalas develop their revealing finger characteristics to better climb branches and trees. Remarkably, a koala's fingerprints are practically identical to a human's, even under a microscope. Now, how a movie has not been made about a well-trained koala committing unsolvable crimes is way beyond us. District 9 the largest mantis shrimp ever discovered was caught near Fort Pierce, Florida. It should come as no surprise that some crazy animal specimens have been found in Florida. It happens all the time, as you can see by going through our video catalog. That mantis shrimp was 18 inches long. Now, obviously, they do not get very big, but the powerful claws have given them a fearsome reputation. It's in them the nickname prawn killers. They kill by dismembering, spearing, or stunning prey with their formidable weapons. Larger specimens held in captivity have even been known to break through aquarium glass, which sounds like something that would happen in every kid's worst nightmare. Now, this is all well and good, and while those claws are pretty remarkable, they are not unique. The mantis shrimp's eyes, on the other hand, are unlike any others on the planet. For starters, they are considered the most complex in the animal kingdom. They're mounted on stalks and can move independently of each other. The visual system that supports those stalk-perched eyes is equally as fascinating. 16 types of color receptive cones aid the mantis shrimp's vision. Now in comparison, we humans have only three types of color receptive cones. Big Daddy. You see guys at the gym all the time that grow hair in places that are hard to fathom, much less accidentally glance at before quickly looking away in sheer horror. Now, sorry, Dad, but you need to wax, and we need to stop going to the gym together. Anyways, enough about me. Let's talk about a frog that could relate to my ape-like father. The hairy or wolverine frog is endemic to Central Africa. Those are not really hairs on the body and around the thighs of this male. They are actually dermal papillae. And they're not the only reason this amphibian is nicknamed the wolverine frog. Now, we'll explain why. But first, you might want to move on to the next part if you're squeamish. They have retractable claws made of bone that they can project straight through the skin. They do this by breaking the bones in the toes and using the sharpened bone to poke the claws out through the skin. This is all reminiscent of when Wolverine didn't yet have his adamantium exoskeleton and when he would sheath his bones and use them as claws. Mimic. Like that blue woman in the X-Men, while we're on that subject, the aptly named Mimic Octopus just sort of hangs around its habitat while spending most of its time impersonating other creatures. And also like Mystique, you know, we did remember that name on our own, so no internet for that, I swear. And this octopus uses its mimicry abilities to devastating effects. For example, the octopus can copy the appearance of a crab 
fooling an approaching real-life crab into thinking it's found a potential mate. Once the unwitting prey goes to make a move, the mimic octopus will devour what has just gone from a living, breathing creature looking for nothing more than a date to a tasty treat for our master of disguise. Tom Cruise did his own plane stunts for the first scene of that movie by actually hanging off the side of an airplane that was taking off. Pretty brave. But, you know, he was making millions. Now, if you pay us millions, you could just strap us to the side of an airplane mid-flight and film us crying and wetting our pants in fear. You know, just saying. Ghost Protocol it's a shame that we don't have feet like geckos. Their intricate foot structure gives most species the insane ability to climb nearly any surface, even glass. They're even able to traverse ceilings. While we'll never have feet that look like a gecko's, at least not anytime soon, we've used this creature's remarkable trait as an inspiration. Scientists have invented hand-sized adhesives that have the ability to lift a human up a glass wall, not unlike Tom Cruise in that famous scene from Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Water for elephants. Elephants are awesome creatures that are fascinating all around. But for now, we're going to focus on the boneless, muscular structure that famously hangs from the face. You know, the trunks. With over 150,000 muscle bundles, these body parts can push down entire trees and lift a total of 700,000 pounds. Remember too, this trunk is just a long nose with nostrils running all the way through. Their olfactory is highly advanced and has millions of receptor cells. This gives them the ability to smell water from miles away. It can hold two gallons of water at a time and can suck 10 gallons a minute. Of course, it does not drink through its nose. Instead, it uses the trunk to move water directly into its mouth. Now, that's a pretty weird way to drink water. But our next creature has an even more bizarre method of hydration. Face off. There's two aspects of the thorny lizard that are both unique and fascinating. The first is its false head, or spiny growth protruding from its neck. They present this feature to potential predators by dipping their real head. Thorny lizards are found in deserts throughout Central Australia. Their scorching habitat makes the second unique feature a must-have. Their scales are ridged, allowing the creatures to collect water from any part of the body. The water is then conveyed to the mouth along hygroscopic grooves between the spines. The meerkats. Some people wear shades so much, it's like they're attached to the faces. Well, this makes these people a lot like meerkats. The only difference is meerkats have developed natural sunglasses in the form of those characteristic black circles around their eyes. Those circles reduce the sun's glare and allow the meerkat to see far into the distance. Their vision is the animal's most developed sense. They have a wide range of sight thanks to the long horizontal pupils built for digging, the meerkat even has a membrane that covers and protects their eyes so that they can keep on going without getting dirt in their eyes. Ants. Ants, despite being tiny, are some really awesome creatures. We even made a video on the subject in case you want to gain an in-depth look. But for now, we're going to focus on one of the most remarkable traits, the strength. Pound for pound, the ant can produce more force than most larger animals thanks to being relatively thicker. This allows them to carry many times their own weight, and some estimates say up to 100 times. If these walls could talk, you may be wondering how in the heck the African bullfrog survives in its sweltering dry savanna climate. Well, the answer largely is a mucus on its skin. The frog uses this mucus to help it breathe by dissolving oxygen from the air when it's out of water of its own. When it gets really hot, the frog goes underground to save itself, digging half a foot beneath the surface. Then it creates a sort of cocoon out of that mucus. For up to seven years, the frog will wait for rain to arrive while hanging out in its icky home. Once the rainy season starts, the frog leaves its mucus home and ventures above ground to breed. Speed. You'd never want to be at the wrong end of this falcon. They hunt smaller birds by swooping down from high above and diving spectacularly for the kill. It's likely most prey don't even see these creatures coming before it's too late. And that's because the peregrine falcon attains the highest speed you'll find in the animal kingdom. 
and that's even faster than cheetahs. And by the way, that's not even close. Cheetahs, as a matter of fact, are like pintos compared to the Lamborghini, that is the Peregrine Falcon. Now, while their eyes grow bigger and bigger as they approach clueless prey, they can reach speeds up to and even exceeding 200 miles per hour. Now, hopefully some of you lot notice the little game we've played with the titles of each part here. They're all movies, and most of them are pretty good ones. Not so sure about meerkats, but it is an actual film. Now, while we do love nature, we also love to do some other things as well, you understand? So, out of all of our titles, what would be your favorite? Now, personally, I happen to like Identity best out of this list. Well, anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching, and please let us know what you thought of the video and the titles in the comments section below. And if you don't know where that is, just scroll down. We hope you all come back again tomorrow to watch our new video. Deep Blue Sea. Deep sea fish have all sorts of crazy attributes to help them survive the cold, lightless habitats. Many have photophores, or specialized organs, that light up to help them see better. Some use this light to hunt, because food can be scarce in the deep ocean simply because there's not too many creatures down there. The Black Swallower, a fish that lives really deep, sometimes nearly 10,000 feet below the surface, has an attribute that allows it to eat creatures that are even larger than themselves. Its stomach can stretch out to great lengths, allowing the fish to consume prey over twice as long and up to 10 times its total mass.